We're staying on top of a breaking news story, a mass shooting in Philadelphia's King Sessing neighborhood. We learned overnight police found a fifth victim who died. In total, we are told the gunman shot seven people, including two children. It was a horrifying scene. The gunman was wearing a bulletproof vest while he went on that deadly killing spree. The shooting starting around 830 last night in the area of 56th Street and Chester Avenue. A guy with a long gun. All right, all units use caution. We got somebody with a long gun. 5432 Jackson. 5432 Jackson. We have two vehicles moving out. Come down. That was police radio as the chaotic scene unfolded. Officers put their own lives in danger, engaging the shooter while he was firing with a rifle. Two people are in custody this morning. For the latest, let's go on over to Action News reporter Corey Davis. He's live with what we know as of this morning on what has happened. Tammy, Matt, good morning. Yeah, it's a fluid situation. The total number of those injured changing a couple of times. But once again, seven people shot were being told by police, five of them dead, two injured. The two, were, the two who are injured, uh, the two who survived, rather, uh, are ages two and 13 years old. I want to give you a look behind us here where we are. So the streets are now back open. This is Fraser Street you're looking at. This is like halfway between 56th and 57th. Uh, but Fraser Street is where this all ended. Police say the suspect, he was loaded with ammunition and had protective gear on. Take a listen to what Commissioner Outlaw says in, uh, officers encountered when they came, came upon him. Our officers were able to apprehend the male in the rear alley of 1600 Fraser Street. And when they did, uh, this male was wearing a bulletproof vest with multiple magazines in the vest. He also had a scanner and an AR style rifle and a handgun. That scanner the commissioner mentioned is a police scanner, the, listening to radio traffic. So this all started around 8.30 last night in the area of 56 and Chester Street here in uh, the King Sessing section of Philadelphia. Police say people called 911, others flagged down officers. We're being told those officers um, found gunshot victims and began preparing to scoop them up in patrol cars to rush into the hospital. That's when we're being told the officers heard multiple gunshots going off. They ran toward that gunfire and we're told the officers found the 40 year old suspect. They ran after him while he was still shooting. Officers say they were able to corner him in the back alley along the 1600 block of Fraser Street. That's when they approached him while he was wearing that bulletproof vest, carrying the loaded magazines, uh, a police scanner, the AR style rifle and the handgun. Police were able to take him into custody without any further injury. I want to give you a look at this video, too. It was an emotional scene at Penn Presbyterian Hospital. Family members of the victims who died finding out the bad news. We aren't showing them out of respect for their privacy, but I can tell you they were very emotional and devastated. In all, police once again saying seven people were shot, five are dead, two injured. Two of the survivors are children ages two and 13. They are stable this morning. The five people who died range in ages possibly between 20 and 59 years old. So the final victim that police found, the, the fifth victim who died, they say that he was found uh, about four hours later in the living room of a home on 56th Street. It happened when uh, that victim's father came home and discovered his son uh, on the living room floor with multiple gunshot wounds. Investigators say they believe that homicide is connected because the shell casings in that home match the shell casings, uh, the size and caliber of the shell casings found out here in the street. Another thing is officers also took in a second person into custody saying that uh, they believe that a man picked up a gun during all of this and fired shots toward that initial shooter. Uh, so now two people in custody. But now reporting live here in King and Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News. Thank you, Corey. And it was a chaotic scene leading up to the moment police took the suspected shooter into custody. One woman told Action News her grandchild's father was one of the victims. I just came to get my grandbaby and my daughter and take them to the hospital and I came back. My house is in a crime scene. This is the house. I can't right even go in my house. Just getting into a car, just walking down the street. We're I trying. think that the man ran up and just started shooting people that was in the outside. So imagine if it was the fourth and everybody out. It's just not safe anywhere.